Welcome back, video creeps. Now, horror fans will buy just about anything that has to do with the movies that we love. Because the plain cold hard facts are, it's just all available to us. If you make an executive decision to only drink out of killer clowns from outer space cups, you can get her done. Isn't that right, Larry? Get her done. <laughs> we hate him. But what if I told you something? A little secret of sorts. Come here, come a little closer. <laughs> And they, they don't give a single about you. But I do, I do. Video Creep cares, I care. So here's a little video to help aid you out there. So that way you don't find yourself disillusioned with joy because you see a, a fucking Sam for trick or treat decal on a water bottle. Don't buy it. Now this is happening every day all across the land, man. But there's no greater breeding ground for this kind of behavior than a little place called Etsy. Now hear me out, I wanna say for every one of these items that I'm gonna talk about in this video, there are a million extremely talented artists on there selling really quality and awesome things. And to those talented people, they completely deserve your support and your financial backing because choosing to be an artist full time is one of the most difficult roads to venture. Speaking of, have I mentioned the like and subscribe button? Because those help me out. Now, all of that said, let's go pick on people who I believe are pushing you around. We're taking out the Etsy trash. Okay, so this first one, I went back and forth on, but ultimately it, it made the list because it falls squarely in the pandering department. Because I just thought I don't see it. I don't see this product coming from a genuine place of horror love. Now what idea might that be? Why it's the Pennywise Wreath by Crafted with Ash. Now I'm not entirely sure, I'm not even a gambling man, but are those shower loofahs going around the perimeter there? Is this a fucking, is this a multi-purpose wreath? It decorates doors and it doubles as a shower buddy? Cause with dead set intention, I'm not entirely mad at the vision. However, I just, I can't give this the pass. Cause like, okay, even if that idea, the multi-purpose fucking horror reef was an original idea which let's be real i'm being incredibly optimistic i'm like 90 percent sure that that's just a store-bought mask that was just like painted over just a little bit so that way they could be like no no it's mine i painted it and for a hundred and fifty dollars you're just you're not gonna sell me a mask with fucking shower scrubbies around i'm not i'm not an asshole man so why are you taking me for an asshole for 150 dollars you were that type, you could pay your girlfriend's internet bill and a, a fucking a side chick's internet bill. You could, you could do a boop, impress everyone. I also looked at the comments on this and the one that she sends out isn't even the one that's in the picture. Look at the, look at the fucking teeth. Unless Ash is out here like fucking selling reefs and then getting these masks dental. She's trying to pull one over on. Now, sadly, that is the least offensive of the ones that are on this list. So we're just going to move ahead. And it's going to be a little ruthless because I'm not going to lie. I feel I feel legitimately bad going after this one. Not because it's quality, far from it, but because it really does have the spirit of someone doing their best. Before the goddamn price tag, this slips into like an ego versus integrity thing. And I don't like my integrity being challenged by your ego. So without further delay, I present to you Horror Baby Freddy. Now this one comes from Realism Creations, which that name itself is it's a bag of worms I'm not gonna get into. Fucking Realism, what, what kind of babies have you seen? What babies are hanging around, man? But then again, there's a Z in the name. Maybe that's why they spell it with a Z. But come on! Behind the scenes, someone's head was being souped way the fuck up. Cause this shit's fucking delusional. Now I am a fair dude and credit where credit is due, sweetie. If she's making that little hat and the little like claw thing on the hand, shit, go off you bitch, you did that. Are you really gonna sit here and tell me that that shit ain't felt? Like motherfucking 20 cents a sheet asked felt? I know felt, man, I have a history with felt. I remember being in like kindergarten and shit, and, like of a glue stick on that. And like, it would come off just a little bit off the corner. And then every project that I did, it looked like shit, man. Are you out of your fucking mind? This bitch is out here making money moves like the big dogs. Like she is out here, like cutting the material budget before like the business even pops off. Like someone told this person about the economy of scale and she was like, and low key, I could, I could do that, why not? 
She's charging $30 for these. 20 cent felt, a little dollar mini Goodwill doll, and like 460 cent acrylics. But hey, shipping is free because she has to sleep at night she's not a monster okay now this next one i'm not i'm not entirely shitting on because the price tag is right and honestly just considering what it is is why i even wanted to put it in this video because i came across it i found it endlessly entertaining and honestly for the price i think it, it can even go for a little bit more but we got megan confetti y'all i have no idea what kind of extremely specific event has to go down where this is the finishing touch that sets the place on fire but just the conception of this item straight up amuses me now like i said i'm not sucking the stick too hard like this again i don't believe that this creation came from a place of like horror love and artistry i know fully well that it's preying on my love for the culture but i can't hate it i just can't especially because it's retailing for like five bucks i'm just not mad at it now again don't get it twisted like i said this is not was not perfect from a place of artistic expression but neither was this the leather face sledgehammer not a fucking leather face sticker or an engraving on there now this guy is trying to peddle these as completely authentic to like the screen and that's why there's no like interpolation of texas chainsaw massacre in any context at all on it but here's the issue without having at least a little tcm at the bottom or something without that these are just sledgehammers my guy next one on this list i took personal not only because i love the movie so much that i named my first car after it but because motherfucker, this is twigs these is twigs son giallo cost are you really out here selling three sticks for ten dollars i almost respect it i'm not gonna lie like there's there's some big fucking like hustler energy with selling three sticks for ten dollars the issue is that there's a thin line between hustler energy and crackhead energy because a crackhead will try to sell you anything and it's always real expensive or like so much cheaper than it should ever be like a crackhead will get its hands on airpods and be like 500 dollars, and you'll be like i'm sorry crackhead i don't have 500 dollars." the crackhead will counter and be like you got 10 cents all crackheads are terrible negotiators this is every crackhead in the world now i know what you're thinking maybe i'm being overly critical of this Blair Witch thing. Mike, it's a cool idea. And after all, using cheap supplies and building an empire, that's nothing new. Hell, lick the Jordans on your feet right now, or most bullshit. I posed the question, maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's an amazing deal. Maybe he's importing these sticks from fucking Japan. And the print that's on that little piece of paper there, that's made with ink straight from the most endangered squids in the Atlantic. So $10 is a legitimate steal. I would love to think that. I would love to be like, wow, look at look at the fucking material. It's what it's made out of. Oh my God. I'm but that's fucking stupid, man. This isn't thought provoking fucking like culture shifting shit. It's not a beautiful art piece that can be like subjected to the fucking audience and shit. It sticks. It's fucking sticks from your backyard, bro. They were covered in dog shit and he's trying to steal your money for fucking crack. This is one of those things that like, if you looked at it long enough, you yourself could figure out how to make your own like with minimal trial and error because you've never tied anything in your life i believe that you would muddle through and you know how much it would cost you fucking nothing nothing because this has no monetary value even the fucking the blair witch herself didn't pay to make that she just fucking made those out of whatever was on the floor and shit you know who giallo costs should meet and they should fucking like his shoulders or something someone else i found on here named needful things Sorry, nerdful things. Because they are out here selling $12 paper boats. I am not fucking with you. Don't you sit there and tell me it's the SS Georgie. You're a fucking asshole. You found a Sharpie in the exact same office that you found computer paper. And you're like, we're all trying to get out the rat race. This is... <laughs> This is my way. The irony is that if he sold these like outside the movie theater when they like premiered the films and shit, I bet he would have made at least fucking 70 bucks. Well, Michael, it has a place. It's art. Look at the blood splatter. Certainly the blood splatter took talent. Grow up and grow up fast because the world is hard and me sitting here trying to convince you not to pay $12 for a paper boat is not a good reflection on the path that you're choosing to go down. Okay, now this next one, I can't help 
but laugh solely because I, I know the kind of person thought that they could get away with this. And on their side of the camp, they don't see anything wrong. As I grew up in the Bronx and ran into this person many, many a time, mostly on the train on my way to school. But the type of person that I'm talking about is peddling shit like this. The good guys, two piece dicky set. Jesus Christ. This person like Corey Feldman levels of went for it when he typed in PNGs for Chucky on Google. And here's the thing. They legitimately don't think that this is a bad looking fit. They're out here thinking that they're making the world a flyer looking place. I don't want to go after a person's stylistic ambitions because a person's drip is a part of their confidence. What a person wears and what they're comfortable wearing, it tells you a lot about them. That shit's important as fuck, but this ain't that. And it most certainly does not earn the $125 plus price tag which by the way how funny is the verbiage of that price because to me that means like at some point etsy was like hey how much do you want to sell this for and the seller came back with like a bully vibe they're like i don't know how much you got on you probably like 125 or more i know the plus is most likely like due to size and shit i tell you what though that person that person always had the best bootlegs no jewel cases either it was all just like plastic and slips came in like a white envelope the presentation was like something to be desired but they can get you whatever you want you want austin powers they got you you need photoshop just tell them what you need they'll figure it out but speaking of chucky i want to direct the conversation to this little feller here crisscross customs went ahead and really thought that they were doing something here because this custom chucky can be yours for a disrespectful 200 dollars look at the fucking fit now this one might not even be pandering to horror fans specifically because i took a look at some of their other shit and i found this like sloth from goonies but i want to shine a pretty light on this fucking annabelle who can also be yours for 200 dollars. all of these are 200 dollars. like what is it that makes people think that this could be marketable at this rate i understand that art is dictated by its worth to the beholder but can we just stop giving out fucking participation ribbons? Just call this what it is. It's a blatant scam. Look at the fucking feet right now. Without going to fucking wikifeet.com, tell me what Annabelle's feet look like. I fucking dare you. Now, sure, at least Chucky's overalls were like sewn, right? That was like a, it ain't right, but they did something there. Someone cut up pajama pants. But that Annabelle dress isn't even like fucking made from scratch or anything. Like whoever designed this Annabelle, it looks like, they did a shit ton of PCP and just found a marker. Now up next, I wanna be very clear. I actually think this is kind of awesome. Like bare bones aesthetic alone, I like what I see. But with respects to this video and the extortion that we're talking about, though I like what this looks like, I cannot, I cannot let this fucking fly. $300 for this hand puppet is just out of the question. And it really is a shame too, this one, because looking at this person's other stuff, I really dig the style of these little puppets, but the dimensions, they're just way too small to warrant that price. It truly is sad because this is a case where like greed is really getting the best of this because I like the look of this. And I think a full size Art the Clown puppet would totally be worth the asking price of $300. But for just a derpy little hand puppet, there's there's just no way. Asking for all that, you, you played yourself. But you don't have to. So I wanna end this video by directing your eye to this little guy from the crooks over at Nightmare Trash. Emphasis on trash. Now, at first glance, this is a class little item here. Maybe throw a little light on that, make it a good old fashioned room centerpiece, who knows? And sure, maybe a couple of you are saying, I've never even seen anything like that before. Got the iconic mask, it says scream all over it, the knife, cool. Everything checks out, right? I hate to break it to you, but you're fucking, you're dead fucking wrong, man. Any idiot could make this and I can fucking prove it because I'm an idiot and I'm about to break it down. Shadow box, $21. Ghostface mask. Ten dollars. Little knife action, fifteen bucks. Go online, you find a couple scream decals for like three bucks a pop, and bam, just like that, throw it all together, and you made it. You made this thing. Now you you spent forty nine dollars, and you made this really cool looking thing. So explain to me why on Nightmare Trash it's going for three hundred and twenty five dollars. The only reason that i could think of is because these people think you're a fucking cuckold and i won't let that happen to you video creeps not unless that's 
Um, unless you want, if you want that, sure. Video creep's not gonna fucking cock block you either, <laughs> but it's ridiculous. And the moral of the story is this. These people on Etsy trying to upsell you for things that don't cost anything to them that you could do yourself, they aren't more talented than you. And yet, they are more talented than you. Or are they? They are. There's some incredibly talented people on Etsy. But does that make them better than you? No. But also, yes. If you've stayed till the end of this video, thank you so much. Make sure you drop a like and a comment down below so I know that you were here and we could talk about this scam it a scam scam stuff. Make sure you're checking me out on my other channel, That Figures. And to everyone who saw that post with the carry heads on the sticks, that is a very special video that is still coming out. I'm really taking my time, taking it nice and slow with that one. But make sure you have your notification bell on for that video because it will be a lot of fun. Until then, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, video creeps.